Hey everybody, thanks for joining us on today's video. Listen man, in my opinion, uh, there are some great sport cars out there, but there are not a lot of great daily driver exotics. And I say that, you know, only with, because I love cars so much, but I think about driving uh, a Bentley convertible. Like that's a great car, but you know, that's a lot to be moving around all the time as your daily car, getting in and out, in and out, in and out, or uh, driving maybe uh, uh, an Aventador or, you know, something super exotic like that where parking and you got to get the doors and try to get in and out because you're laying on the ground and what have you. This is a game changer for all of that. This is the world's greatest selling exotic daily sports car ever built. And on top of it, if you haven't really experienced a 911, and the only reason I'm telling you all this is because I did not understand these cars. I thought they were a polished Volkswagen Beetle. I said, you know what? This is a Volkswagen Beetle. It's way overpriced. No way is this thing going to be great. I have to tell you what, man, completely changed my mind. And this example right here, we're going to walk around and, and talk about some of the stuff that's on it. But uh, what tripped me up was I just looked up before we did the video, how much is uh, 2020 that we're doing the uh, video today, how much a new 2020 base, base 911 with just some leather seats and that's it. No uh, upgraded wheels, no heated seats, no navigation, none of the other nice things that are on this car right here, $100,000 for a base car. A C4S, 140 now. Come on, man, a turbo is almost 200,000. 200,000, you throw some options on a turbo and you're over 200,000. These cars have gotten ridiculously expensive and that's why these right here are such a great buy. The 19 inch alloys on here, uh, Michelin's on there. And the reason I bring up the Michelin's is that's how actually how I buy cars. I start with the tires. And you say, well, tell them, why do you start with the tires on the cars? I say, you know what? If it's my baby, I'm gonna put the very best tires I can put on the car, right? I'm not gonna overpay for them, but I'm gonna put great tires on it. If it's a lease turn in and I'm just getting ready to, to flip it and get rid of it, right? I'm putting the cheapest Chinese tires I can find on there just so it passes inspection and I don't get dinged when I, uh, when I turn the car in. So that's where I start with all my cars on tires. And that way I know somebody cared about the car. All right, so Porsche paint quality, very, very nice. They take some serious pride in building these cars. These cars, I've had uh, cars with over 100,000 miles on them and 30 years old, and they're still solid and tight inside. Anyway, I get, uh, I get all distracted and what have you, but look how clear that is. You can read every letter beautifully, nice and crisp, but that's what you want. Not that you can see the letters, but you can see every letter. All right, so when I say a practical car, an exotic, here's what some of the reasons why. First off, this is beautifully finished in here. Um, CD changer if you wanted that. Also, the computer's in there as well. Batteries right here, okay? Uh, there's room for huge amounts of storage here, like soft bags. And then the back seats, uh, you can throw more stuff in there, or if you want to, they fold down and give you all this great looking coupe-like uh, look, but also room for storage too. And uh, Angie just a minute ago said, uh, we're gonna go look at the storage, so she was headed that way, and I said, oh my God, they stole the engine. Anyway, it was pretty funny at the time. Hopefully it's still funny now. And to close the hood so you don't get handprints all over it, the trick is on the emblem, that's it, boom. All right, so the spoiler here, we put this up just so you can see it because 99% of the time, it's gonna come up and down, up and down, up and down, because it's motorized, it's based on speed, right around 70 miles an hour, this comes up pushes the rear end down, so for some high-speed driving, you get some stability and you don't get air underneath the car and lift the car, it handles much better. I just wanted you to see what it looks like, but when you're in the car, the rear view mirror doesn't see it. It can't see it, so you don't know whether it's up or not, and it looks great. But you can drive around with it up. There's a switch on the left side kick panel right there, and you can either leave it up or leave it in automatic mode, and uh, it'll do its thing. So, um, Secondly, uh, this is kind of cool that a lot of people don't know that there's a third brake light right here, okay? Also a third brake light mounted inside the spoiler because the spoiler comes up and blocks the third brake light and this one takes over. Little trick, little tip huh, that I just learned myself. Everything's fairly easy to get to here because you're not really gonna work on this car, right? Oil dipstick, coolant, uh, washer fluid, stuff like that. Um, uh, washer fluid up front, but anyway, the other uh, accoutrements, you know, uh, those products in here. And then the vehicles are serviced underneath. There's a nice little flat pan. Uh, that as soon as you take the pan off, everything is exposed. You can get to everything and see how nice it is there. All right? All right, so come join me in here. Um, one of the things about these cars that, that is a big selling feature is a lot of small cars uh, or sports cars, because they're small in general, don't have any room. Here we have enormous around. I'm 6'1", I can barely reach the pedals. So there's a lot of room inside these cars. Great stack here. 
And some of the features and options we're talking about is climate control, right? Of course, standard, but this one has heated seats. This car has an upgraded exhaust system, uh, 8,000 RPM tax centered right in front of your face, 200 mile an hour speedometer. It's just a beautifully equipped car. Even some creature comforts like that for cup holders that are right there. And I just think that in the world of daily driver exotics, you get your six speed handy. It just seems to fit right. It fits in your hand and uh, it's a very comfortable, comfortable drive. Fast, you drive to the track and then go to Monday and pick up the kids at school. All right, so we'll close up this, uh, what I call a daily driver exotic. We had a triple black car, black leather, black beautiful paint, 19 inch alloys, a lot of nice features inside like uh, uh, the heated seats and the upgraded sound system. Uh, the six speed manual just feels so good in your hand. This has an upgraded exhaust on it as well, right? And I just feel like uh, in the world of cars, man, for this is not a lot of money compared to so many other things. And the great thing about it is this will never be a $5,000 car. Unless, of course, it gets total. But anyway, what I mean by that is these are always selling for a great value because the new cars continue to go up in value. It drags these up with it, right, price-wise. And that's why they're such a great value. So anyway, call us, 301-816-1000. We'll tell you all about this beautiful Porsche 911. Don't forget to, uh, if you would, share that video down there and like it. And uh, don't forget to watch the test drive video that we're getting ready to go on next.